at 12 volt EMF automobile battery has a terminal voltage of 16 volts when being charged by a current of 10 amps. What is the battery's internal resistance? Okay, so here's the 12 volt battery that is being charged. And there's the internal resistance. And it's being charged by an external source. And the current is 10 amps. <clears throat> so they tell us we'll call this A B the terminal voltage B A B which is 12 volts plus I R it's equal to 16 volts and uh, so 12 plus 10 amps times R equal to 16 volts so <clears throat> Uh, R is uh, 16 minus 12, which is 4. So 4 volts divided by 10 amps equal to 0.4 ohms. So the internal resistance is 0.4 ohms. <clears throat> what power is dissipated inside the battery? So the power dissipated inside the battery is I squared R which is 10 amps squared times 0.4 ohms, which is 40 watts. And then for part C, we'll do that. At what rate will this, its temperature increase if its mass is 20 kg and it has a specific heat of 0.3 kilocalories per kg? Uh, assuming no heat escapes. So <clears throat> uh, that's the rate at which power dissipated is 40 watts. Forty joules per second. Okay. Uh, so oops, and that's Q by T. Okay. Q is um, MC delta T. Okay, so what is it that we're trying to find? Uh, <clears throat> will the temperature increase? Okay, so 40 watts equal to MC delta T by T. And delta T by T is the rate at which temperature is increasing is 40 watts divided by M C. Okay. So we will call this DT by DT. That's the rate at which temperature is rising. <clears throat> All right, so Forty joules per second, and the mass is of the battery is twenty kgs. Okay, and thirty kilocalories, or three hundred calories per kg. Per kg per degree Celsius. <coughs> And uh, one calorie, so we'll do the conversion of units. One calorie is 4.186 joules. Okay, so dt by d, 40 joules per second, 20 kgs, <coughs> 300, 1.86 joules per kg per degree Celsius. Okay, the kg cancels, the joules cancel, and what we get is 40 into 40 divided by 20 into 300 into 4.186 
1.86 degrees Celsius per second. That's the rise in temperature. And uh, so, but they want the answer in, in degrees per minute. So, let's uh, add another page below. So, dt by and uh, 60 seconds is one minute. So, 40 degrees per second, 20 into 300 into 4.186 into 60 seconds divided by one minute. Okay, now we're all set. Okay, so this is 220. Point one degree Celsius per minute. Okay, so that's the rate at which the temperature rises. All right, so that finishes that problem.